Y welcome back, mi gente al episodio número 1 de Close to the Sun. El Halos se utiliza principalmente para transportar personal desde su distrito de vida a sus respectivos departamentos. Pero también se utiliza para mover equipos y maquinarias cuando sea necesario y sobre todo alimenta la energía de casi la mitad de la población del mundo. Con esto en mente, es hora de adentrarnos en el mundo oscuro que abarca este barco sistema. Como siempre, si lo disfrutas, recuerda dejar un buen like y suscribirte. ¡Let's go! My dear sister, I left you suddenly and without warning. For that and so much more to come, I apologize. I didn't board the Helios knowing what would happen, only that pursuing my research could change the world. And we did! Just not in the way I'd imagined. Not yet, anyway. I want to explain everything now, so that you'd see that there is nothing to fear. You've always tried to protect me, my big sister, but this was meant to be. It's now my turn to protect you, if only so that things unfold the way they are meant to. Time and necessity has kept us apart, but that is about to change. We need you here aboard the Helios with me. I've enclosed a receiver, and as the name implies, it can receive signals through which we will communicate. I know little of this will make any sense right now, but I also know that you will keep your promise. I love you. Your sister, Ada. Pretty light on details there, Ada. You leave without warning and now need me aboard the Helios? What aren't you telling me? would be more... busy? I guess Ada didn't tell anyone I was coming. Seems like I'll have to let myself in.
Warden Glyph, a company distributing electricity to half of the world, and yet still hungers for that other half. Quarantine? What have you got yourself into, Ada? Great! Gee, thanks for the warm welcome. Now what have you done with my sister? Suspected Edison spies get interrogated aboard the Helios? Ugh. Wait until my editor hears about this. Now to find Ada.
Archer calling any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone out there? What the? I repeat, this is lead Ada. researcher Archer calling for any survivors on this frequency. Is anyone? Ada. Rose? Ada! Holy shit, Rose! Ada! What the hell are you doing here? Wait, what? Ada, you told me to come. I've got your letter right here. That... that doesn't make any sense. I didn't write you any letter, Rose. But, but never mind. There's been an accident. Or sabotage. It, it doesn't matter. We need to get off this ship. That's what the quarantine is about? Ada, what the hell is going on? Rose, listen very carefully. We really need to leave. It's spreading all... Ada! Ada! Anyone? What the hell was that? I can hear you, but what the hell am I doing here? If you didn't write the letter, who did? It's in your handwriting and everything. This is gonna sound weird, but it might have been me. Not present me, but future me. I know how crazy that sounds, but I promise I can explain everything. Let's rendezvous in my apartment. From there, we'll escape together, okay? Escape from what, exactly? It's not safe here, Rose. It's spreading throughout the ship. I'll tell you everything when we meet up in my apartment. You need to grab a Faraday keycard from the check-in desk there in the main hall. They're kept in a wall-mounted safe. The combination should be written down somewhere nearby. The keycard will automatically take the elevator to the right district. Did you get all that? Yeah. Open safe. Get keycard. Use elevator. Meet in your apartment. I, I got it. Great. I won't be able to reach you on the radio for a bit, so just get there and stay safe, okay? Fine. But when you get there, I'm expecting some answers. Deal? Deal. Oh, and sis, even if I can't explain why or how you got here, really am grateful that you're here. See you soon. See you soon, sis. That must be the safe. Now to get it open? Bingo. A key card for the elevator. <gasps> Alright. Hope this works. 